Hello everybody and welcome back to Vintage Survival. Now today we do have something very exciting to do. It is the Horse Breeding by GTX. It's a very nice mod which basically allows you to breed the horses, if that wasn't obvious already, but also GTX has produced this first person camera mod for the horses so we can actually sit on the horse and it actually feels like we're on it instead of floating behind it as it would appear in the, in the base game. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do is cut the field over here first of all because to do this we have to have oats and we have to have water thankfully we actually already have a field of oats that is great we can now use this straight away as feed i don't know if i should place the building first maybe we should do i've just shown you it to begin with okay so here we go this is the size of it we do actually have a piece of land over here which i showed you in the previous episode and i think actually it might be perfect for placing our stable, our horse breeding stable. So I think, yeah, well, let's just get it done. I don't, I don't want to put it in the wrong place. I think maybe closer to this track, the better. We do need access all the way around it. Okay, let's just see if that's gonna cost us. Right, so it looks like a bit of terrain editing is required. But I think that is about right. Okay, I'm going to put it there. Let's go and take a look at it. <laughs> Horse breeding with a heart, lovely. Uh, so this is it, this is the field which we harvested before. Yes, I was wondering if it had raised the ground quite a bit. It is sinking away, that's why it costs us over a thousand pounds in terrain editing, but that's fine because it means it's nice and level at the front. And we can, we, we can uh, sort of level it out a bit more if we want to. I think I might do. Uh, yeah, it looks nice. Some may say I've put it the wrong way around, but I think, yeah, I'd prefer to have the horses out the front here instead of stuck around the back. Uh, they'll probably keep their heads through here most of the time. But this is a much better view from when they're outside. Okay, so yeah, 5,000 pounds a horse. We, we just need two horses to begin with. We're not going to get them until we have the food, like I said. But I think we'll just go with... I'm, I'm just going to be random. I'll, I'll just click on two with my eyes closed. And that should be all we have to do, hopefully. We have £14,000 left. Right, so let's head off with the Combine Harvester. Let's get those oats harvested. Yeah, the more I look at it, the more I think I probably will do a bit of terrain levelling. Just to make it look better. But that was to be expected, really. The land around here is not really flat going back through the tunnel of trees. I should have used the header trailer, I know. Uh, next time we come up here with the combine, we will use it. I was foolish and I left it over at the other field. Over the rickety bridge with water underneath it. Trying to slip off, <laughs> there we go. And I think if I just get our usual trailer, because the Ferguson trailer has some grain in it for the chickens, um, I think we'll probably just dump that. If we then use that trailer to cart the oats up to here, that should be fine. And then we do have a water tanker. I know this mod is actually compatible with the Animal Pen Extension mod, so that could be useful. Then we'd have to tank of water. And I look forward to using the Massey Ferguson again. Nice tractor. Okay, right, here we go. Are we unfolded? No, we're not. It's full of weeds. I haven't really fertilized it. It has been kind of neglected, but it's still going to deliver us some fairly nice crops. There we go. And we also have the straw. Now, I think this might be the final crop which we have in this area of the field, because we are going to expand the farmyard fairly soon. But we'll still have some of the field. It's only going to take up a small section just the area that we're currently in. But it does fall away pretty steeply. So, I don't know, maybe we should put some trees in here. We are going to be doing some forestry very soon. The trees which we grew over there, which are now absolutely massive. I think we planted them in about February time. Uh, yeah, they need to be thinned out a bit. 
We won't necessarily clear all of them, but yeah, it's just a bit too dense at the moment. It's pretty dark. <laughs> it's like night time in here. Right. Okay, so yeah, I think we're going to get it all into the... What have I done? I've done... Oh, I think... Yes, did I... Were there multiple crop types there? Might have to just turn it off and switch it on again. There we go. Yeah, so it's all going to fit into here. With no issues at all. And we can transfer it to a trailer. Really not that impressive, just because it's been not looked after. But still, what's it going to be, 1800 litres? From what is really a very small piece of land. But yep, yeah, we're focusing on getting more land very soon. I think quite a few of my viewers actually said, buy number five. It is showing that we own it, but we don't own it. Uh, but they did say, find a suitable price for it. It does have... Oh yeah, sorry, yeah. Yes, it's actually incorporating the farm. So I think because we said that this area here was, what was it, 5,000? And that farm there is 30,000 pretty much. I think 30 again. What does everybody think? 30,000 pounds for film number five? I think that sounds fair. Fair and realistic. Okay, right. Put the auger out get the trailer sorted out. I just need to make sure my other trailer isn't available because it could be, I don't know. I know our Ferguson one is kind of busy. We could do with maybe another trailer. Uh, actually, maybe this one is empty. I did put something in it. Yeah. Um, don't think that takes it. Oh, we've got the tractor. Yes, we'll put it in the tractor. That should fit. What's that crow doing? Ah, the crow dance. That's weird. I've seen it before, but I've never seen it close up. That's kind of demented. <laughs> That's really weird. Uh, right. Yeah, I'm really looking forward to buying the horses and riding them in first person view. It, it'll feel like Morrowind. Uh, no, not Morrowind. Oblivion. Or Skyrim. Although, can you ride horses in Skyrim in first person view? I don't think you can. I haven't played Skyrim for a while. I know you can in Oblivion. But now you can in FS. That's great. Okay, we'll turn the Combine's engine off. I keep going to the <laughs> machine which I've just come from. There we go. It's all getting a bit busy. 71%. That's fine. Ouch, I just cut my head open on the combine. And this now means that we can get the horses, because we'll come back and we'll get the water tanker on the Massey Ferguson. And we're going to choose two horses randomly, with my eyes closed, even though I can't prove it, but I, trust me, I will be doing. I have no reason to favour any horse over the others. Absolutely love this area here. Really nice map. I haven't actually looked to see if the, uh, the the modder, the mapper who made this, has created any other maps. Because if they have, they would be really interesting to try out. But I'm really happy on this map. No plans to finish this series. And when it is time to change, we'll just change it to a very similar style map. They're great, they're really nice. Right, look at those lovely oats. So we probably do have to buy them before we can actually tip it. So if I just park there, that looks to be the feed trough. Where did we have to go here? There we go. Uh, right. I wonder if I can... Oh, I can. I can go up and down like this. So I'll close my eyes now whilst I go up and down. I'll hit enter at a random time. Okay, that's my first horse. 
Uh, it is the Pinto, okay. And the next one. Seal Brown. Nice. Right, so we're going to have to pay a fee to have them transported. Uh, but that's not an issue. Get busy, you two. Right, okay. I forget if this tips forward or sideways. Yeah, forward. In go the oats. They probably could do with some more. But it's a start. We'll have to get some more oats planted. Probably in our biggest field. Um, yeah, so we should now have the animal page. The animal menu. Should be functional. They have names. We shall have... Yes, we will name them. We can rename. I don't know how to select the names. Um, what should we call them? We can change it here. Um, I think probably... If everybody posts down below the names which have the most likes and the, the names which I like the most out of those will be the two which we choose. So everybody, start thinking of good names and we'll see what they're going to be. We'll change this next time. So, yep, as you can see, the oats is pretty low. Um, hay, do we have hay? I think we have, possibly, can't remember. Um, they also need straw and water. Okay, oats is 60% effectiveness. Good. So, I think really, there's not much more we have to do except for those things which I just mentioned. So first, I think the next, the next important thing is water. But before that, come here. I want to do first person view. Uh, select camera C. Oh, nice. Should be able to get them out of here. Might be a gate, but who needs a gate? There we go. Oh, I love the first person view. Oh, I've never been out here before. I didn't even know. Oh, it is. It's the edge of the map. Nicely done, though. It wasn't obviously the edge of the map. Oh. <laughs> right. I guess you feel every bump more, but it's worth it. And these mods are both available on Mod Hub. Fantastic. It makes me question why that was never integrated into the game as standard. Although, <laughs> quite a few things make me uh, question that. Okay, back to the animal pen. Sorry, horse paddock. And we'll go and get the water. Ready? Yes, we did it. Good. That was good. That was Jake, but Jake is about to have a name change. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention, make sure we have a male and a female name. We do have quite a few machines congregating here. We must get things put away. But that's why we need a bigger yard. This yard isn't really big enough for the combine. Those trees are going to make us a fortune as well. The wood is worth so much money. Okay. So, yes, we do have some straw just here. You know, I haven't done any horse work for ages. I, I don't know if you have to shred it. I don't think you do. And did we have any hay? Maybe we didn't. Yeah, trying to remember. I, this is the problem with doing so many Let's Plays. I, I always forget what we've got. Right, so that's full. The water tanker is just down here, and we have got the hose pipe. We still have the opportunity to add a front loader to this tractor, but I think if we decide not to have a front loader, I'll remove the brackets. Okay, I've put that in a really bad place. A terrible place. Might have to move the other one. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, yeah, I moved the pipe. Where did I put the pipe? I've actually forgotten where I put my own things. There we go. I've just blocked it in. Looking back, it was probably a mistake putting it that far away. Right, that was a very rapid fill. 
I think we did establish it would be worth increasing the capacity of the trailer. A thousand litres probably won't get us too far, but if we are going to integrate the ammo pen extension, it doesn't even matter, because it'll just be plumbed in. I don't know how obvious it is when you're watching these videos, but I always seem to prefer um, the vintage series. I, I don't know what it is about it, but I just love driving all the smaller machinery. It doesn't have to be vintage necessarily, just smaller stuff. I like the big stuff, it is great fun, very impressive, but the replayability is much greater with the vintage. Which is why I'm always amazed that Farming Smiths never integrate more vintage tractors. Or, in fact, there's not really many at all. They're all mods. Which is obviously amazing. The, the models are fantastic. Here we are. Yeah, I like this place. It's a good place for them. Again, some may say, oh, you, you should have mowed the grass first, then you could have got some hay. Yeah, I could have done. It's a valid point. Although, actually, we do still have some grass here. How much do we need? I think, well, priorities are to level the ground a bit before I roll this thing and also to um, yeah, make sure we can actually have enough hay so I think we'll just have to buy some hay We are full. We'll keep that there because there's still plenty in it. So yeah, as I said, next up we have to do... Why is that one 22% and that one's zero? Don't know. Um, yeah, straw and hay. And ideally more oats. But yeah, we'll get them planted as quickly as possible. Uh, but we do have to move the straw first. Actually, that straw is the obvious straw to put into here. We'll just get it loose. If I go and get the Ferguson tractor. No, I mean the Matty Ferguson tractor. We've got that bucket for it. Oh, the Ursus needs bringing back as well. Next time we buy something, we'll bring the Ursus back. Makes sense to keep it there for now. I think it might be handy if we had a front loader on both tractors. Because if we can just keep one tractor at one farm and one at the other. That'd be easiest. This bucket seems quite big. It is the standard bucket. On a vintage tractor it looks huge. Still getting paid hourly for the honey. We've got loads of honey. Right, we're going to extend this field as well because you can see how much overgrown stuff there is around it. Or the undergrowth. Okay. Bucket load number one. Uh, I need to figure out exactly where to put it. And, yeah, should we just spend the money and get this leveled? It would make sense. Otherwise it's going to look pretty painful. Uh, okay. It's been so long. Let's just try here to begin with. Nope. Okay. What about here? Yep. That seems to be disappearing. Nice. We should be able to see that on here. Yep. Oh wow, so it's only going to take about two and a bit bucket loads. Pretty simple stuff. Whee! Kinda wish we had a bigger baler. Don't think we do yet. I think <laughs> just trying to remember again. Uh, we do have the uh, conventional baler, which actually isn't too bad. Having conventional bales is good, but it's the storage of the bales which is trickier. Unless we just keep them in the trailer. Should be almost 100%. Nice. 
Very nice. So we'll get one more bucket load just uh, for the future. And then we can do the hay. But yeah, we'll cut that. We'll cut that grass over there. As you would expect, the hay won't be ready today. It's going to be. It's going to take time to dry, and then we're going to have to tet it, row it up, and yeah, we'll just keep this tractor here. I really like it. I think it's a very, very nice mod. That must be for the hay. That's for the oats. It's good that it's separated. Okay, let's whiz off on this machine. And oh, actually, maybe we don't know. If I go on this machine, we'll go and get some hay. It does seem to some people probably kind of silly to go and buy it, but it's a head start. We're not buying much. And knowing me, I've probably got some somewhere, but I, I forget these things. As we're passing the farm shop, I will just take a look and see how much honey we have left. We can see on the display but that doesn't take into account anything at the back door waiting to be sold. Oh, we've still got loads. Crikey. They sold the fruit immediately. Honey is going well. But there's just too much. So yeah, we're taking a bit of a break from honey. It's pointless producing it if it can't be sold quickly. That's not an insult, by the way, to the mod. As you'd expect, it's actually very realistic takes time to sell things. It is true, as I said, it's uh, th there's no point making something if, if it takes a certain amount of time to sell. Uh, right, so let's just go into here, bales, 650, I think I'll get a, a round bale. And we do have a forklift over here, so we can get that loaded up. The Ursus is just waiting for us to get something bigger, like a bigger baler. Ooh. Well, it's in, and I'm guessing that is 4,000 litres, so that's going to go for some time. It's going to be a bit of a journey back, so I'll probably jump cut or time lapse. Oh, yes, and it's also quite heavy. Made it. And this track's actually been going faster. It used to bog right down. It's been good. Ah, oh, wow, it just took the whole thing. Uh, I thought it wouldn't do. It didn't even... Uh, it looks like the capacity is 8,000. They take a lot of food. Right, so it looks like every tractor is here now. We can't be having that. But, yeah, the priority now is to get that grass cut just here. So, just wondering what the best way... Of, uh, I suppose, maybe, the best way of doing that is with the pedestrian machine because it's not a very big area, we've got quite a bit of brush in here so we'll scythe it down I'll take this back and uh, well, actually we might be able to transport it in this let's go and get it making money by the hour so we can afford to do the leveling next time 
make it nice and smooth. Uh, right, so I guess I should use this in first person view. It would feel more realistic as I drop it off a off a tractor. Uh, so we should have rumor, yeah we do. Brilliant. So switch it on. Don't know how loud this is, it doesn't seem too bad. Third person is okay, but you don't see the person, you don't see the player. So that is why I would be tempted not to use that. Oh, we've got a few... Yes, we can't be doing it where there's a big drop because the tractor will get stuck. So, yep, yeah, as you can see, we've just gone around the perimeter. It's not a huge area. We'll be keeping this machine here anyway because we need to tidy up all the brush over there. But this is just the area. We're just cutting the area today for the hay. Might go a bit further that way. But this probably won't take too long. So we're actually losing the light a bit. Well, we're in the trees. Right, so real mower for some reason hasn't been removing the undergrowth this time, even though it did work before. And the mod is definitely enabled and it is functioning kind of, because it, it removes the brush. Like if I go over here, look, it removes these. It disappears. So, yeah, I don't know why it's not removing the weeds. Maybe there's been an update or something, I'm not too sure. Or maybe these weeds are classed as something else, different map foliage. Anyway, it doesn't matter, because what we'll do, uh, we're going to have to do it anyway to make it more uh, productive. We're going to have to cultivate this field after we've taken this first cut off it. So we'll get the earth to sim, we'll put the cultivator on, and then we'll reseed it. That would be the best thing to do. Right, so we'll just cut around this field boundary just here. As I've already said, we're going to be landscaping this anyway, so might remove some of the undergrowth just so we can actually see what we're doing I got rid of those white flowers that's weird okay well uh, yep yeah, let's just get rid of this and then we'll be done and it kind of looks nice having a bit of undergrowth oh, I can't get rid of that one Some of them go and some of them don't. Okay, those went. I think we'll call that finished. As I said, we'll keep this nearby because we do need it. So we'll just park it up here. The grass here is nice and short. So that is the area. That is the area which is going to be bailed. Well, I say bailed up. I'm not sure exactly how we're going to tackle it. We might just load it up into a trailer or something when it's been dried or maybe because there's so such a small amount here it will all fit in the trigger we might just better dump it straight into here with the bucket we will see but that is it for today I'm really hoping you've enjoyed it it has been a bit different we're definitely expanding doing different things uh, but yeah please do remember to uh, think of a name or thumbs up another comment with regards to names for these two horses and since they're going to be breeding there's the gate um, yes we'll probably have to think of some more names in the future but there we go thanks for watching see you again soon bye for now